Hey guys. Oh, let's bring this a little closer. So I'm currently packing for Miami on Thursday. I'm doing it today on Tuesday because my day is literally insane tomorrow. Um, and I thought I would show you what I'm packing. I'm bringing a carry-on suitcase because I'm only going to be there for like four days. So I pretty much have everything I'm going to need, I think. Um, I went, I went shopping on Misguided. They were having this big like 50% off sale off their entire website. So I got a few things. So that's going to be like a lot of, or some of what I am bringing with me. But I'm bringing these cute flared black pants for like dinner to wear at night. It's pretty hot there. I think it's like in the 80s, so I'm excited. And I'm also bringing these. I've actually never worn these, but these are from Urban Outfitters. They're like a mauve trouser. And I just want to bring them and see if I even wear them. Um... I'm bringing like three pairs of shorts. These are Levi's. These are Levi's. And these are from uh, a gold that I got them at Urban Outfitters. Um, putting those in there. Oh, I also think I'm gonna bring these just dark wash Levi's. And I probably don't need four pairs of shorts I just I tend to overpack um, I'm bringing a couple off the shoulder dresses like for like going to the beach to wear over my <sighs> some suits this one's from Masti Gal I feel like Miami fashion is very like colorful so I'm kind of like bringing out all my colors <laughs> that I never really wear um I'm bringing this little like Topshop silky pink top. Um, this is like my sleep shirt, but I just thought it'd be funny to bring. It says tequila made, te ugh, tequila makes it better, which it does. Don Julio. Um, this is just a tank top. Um, I'm bringing this like floral set that I got in Misguided. It's super cute. This is the top. And these are the bottoms. So those would be really cute to take photos with. Um, this little rails top to wear shorts. Su super cute. This is just a white t-shirt and it says fuck bad vibes. <laughs> Um, this is from my Misguided, just a button-up tank top one piece I can wear under shorts. This is a long sleeve button-up that I got from Misguided too. I figured I could wear this at night. Um, and then I got, I'm bringing this dress. It's super cute. This is like a daytime dress. Like this lace dress. I think I got this on Norsum Rock. It's really pretty. It fits really nice, too. Okay. I think I might add, like, a pair of jeans just in case. And that'll all fit on that side. And then swim... Oh, I'm bringing this hat. <laughs> this MTV hat. I like it. I forgot that I had this. And then I'm bringing, I'm going to bring these two books to read for the beach and the plane. This is um, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste N.G. And then Truly Madly Guilty by uh, Leanne Moriarty. She's the author of Big Little Lies and I loved that show. So I'm going to bring those to read. Bringing this book. Bikini that I got in Bali. Super cute. I've actually never worn this. If this is a one piece from Solid and Solid and Striped. I don't know if I'll wear this. I'm not like a big one piece person. Just because I don't know. I like to get tan. But I don't know. I'll bring it. Um this purple one is just from 
this Victoria's Secret pink. It's cute. And then I'm, of course, just bringing a basic black one. I think this is from Nasty Gal that I got a while ago. And now I really just have to decide on shoes. I don't know what shoes to bring. And of course, I'm bringing my camera. And I'll have to put... Oh, I'm definitely going to bring these shoes. I really like these. These are just like these wooden, like, tan, not even tan, like, taupey leather sandals. I love these for, like, warm weather and, like, beach. And then I'll probably just bring a pair of, like, black heels and, like, maybe a pair of sneakers and flip-flops, and that's it. Like, I'm trying to pack super light because I'm not there for long. But, and then I'm probably going to bring, I think, my long champ bag as my, like, other carry-on. And I'll fit my, like, I'll probably fit my laptop. And inside that, I'll bring my, oh, let me get it. I'll put, like my black purse either inside here or I'll put it inside my big purse so that it doesn't count as a carry-on because they can get all like, weird about that. Um, oh, of course, I have to bring my straightener. I definitely need that. And oh, I have a little skirt. I don't really want to wear a skirt. This one with my girlfriend, Alex. We're just having like a chill weekend long weekend in Miami I'm really excited to get some warm weather it's like been raining in LA today and now it's kind of sunny which is really strange but weather's weird see like I want to bring these but like I'm probably not gonna wear them but yeah so I thought I would just show you guys kind of everything I'm bringing before I like packed it all up I don't know is it interesting Hopefully. Um, I will be vlogging in Miami, which stay tuned for that. I'm gonna really try and like vlog there. Um and yeah, so talk to you guys later. Guys, I made it to Miami. Alex! Look at our view. I'm about to be on that yacht. Kidding, I wish though. So. Guys, want me to give you vert vertigo? Woo! Okay. That's it for now. Bye! Guys, I'm about to upload my announcement video. I don't know if I should do it. Should I do it, Alex? Do it. Go. Should I upload it? I think I want to. <laughs> 21 seconds. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I don't know if I want to do this. 95%. All right, here we go. Public. published oh god here we go Number. It is just like right here to there. If you can't tell, lovely. But today we're going to these gardens and museums. It's like, I don't know, five minutes away. So I'll bring you guys with me. Yesterday we just went to the beach and chill. Like, the sun made me so tired. We're gonna go to the pool later today. Yeah, it's Sunday. <laughs>
the way to see it is there's two groups that are fighting. It's gonna be hot out. Two groups. Young people who are very much opposed to this. Living the dream. I'm home. I wonder if that's, you just put that there. I don't know. Can't be. It's in like the most perfect position ever. Yeah, oh, real. that lizard? That's yeah. real. Oh, hello. Oh, like, what are you about? What's in the perfect position? The boat. <laughs> the ship, whatever. It's part of this, but the water took over. Oh. Oh, it's real. I told you it was real. What is that? that you actually said, it's fake. It's perfectly put. <laughs> Looks like you. Thanks. Beautiful, I know. Hey, little guy. I want to touch you. It's a dragon. Alex. Oh, we found a little pond. What'd you call it? A pond. A tadpole pond. Let's take a picture of every single statue we see. <laughs> oh, I'd want to be in that house. This can break your neck. Oh my gosh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I stepped on the thing. Cool. Yard. It's getting hot out. It's getting hot. Spotted again. There's two. <laughs> right there. Good morning or good afternoon. It's 11:30, so I guess it's afternoon. I've actually been up for a while. Um, I have been up since seven. I think I'm kind of on Miami time. I mean, I was only there for like four days, but I woke up. When I was there, I woke up at 9.30 every single day, which was kind of like 6.30 my time. So I guess I technically slept in. But I got back last, or not last night, yesterday morning, I had literally the worst flight of my life. My stomach hurt so bad the night before, and so I couldn't sleep, and we had to get up at like 4.30 anyway, so I literally was just tossing and turning for like four hours. I could not could not sleep. I think I slept straight for like maybe 30 minutes and we had to get up and go to the airport at 4.30 and then my flight, like I had an aisle seat because I have really small bladder and I always have to pee and I just kind of feel trapped by the window sometimes and I was sitting next to this lady and she just kept getting up every 30 minutes to use the restroom and so I couldn't sleep at all and that was super annoying. I mean, I used the restroom twice, but she literally got up every 30 minutes. So that was just beyond annoying. And then my stomach just kept hurting and I couldn't really eat anything because I wasn't, like I wasn't hungry, but like, you know that feeling you get in your stomach when, you, when, you, when you're kind of hungry, you know you should eat, but I just couldn't because my stomach hurt so bad. And it was just awful and then my friend was like an hour late picking me up from the airport so I was just like so done with like the day already so I literally like and also I'm an introvert and I have a really hard time like not having alone time for a number of days in a row like the trip was super fun but like I just need to be alone sometimes for like a solid hour and just like be alone without anyone else and just like chill the fuck out and so yesterday I like literally just went home and was alone for five hours. It was great. I slept for two. I slept. I actually took like a three-hour nap from like two to five, and then actually maybe four hours. It's like two, no, two thirty to like almost six, and that was great. I felt a little bit better, and then I went over to Trevor's place and me and my friend Natalie watched The Bachelor, which oh my god. I haven't really been talking about it on my vlogs because honestly, it's been a really boring season. And Ari's boring, everyone's just so boring, like nothing has really been going on. 
privately. And I mean, of course, America wants to see that kind of stuff, yes. But like for her, I'm, I wonder if she, if they kind of tricked her and was like, oh yeah, this is just a great you know, a day in LA with you guys. We're just doing a little catch up video. And she had no idea, obviously, she had no idea what was going down. And it's almost like they tricked her into it. Like, it's kind of fucked up, in my opinion. I mean, I wouldn't want that airing on TV for the whole world nation to see. That's really embarrassing. And it's like, you're, it's kind of like, I mean, for her, it's like, yeah, you're not good enough. I want, I made it, I made a mistake kicking you. Like, that is just an awful, awful thing to put someone through on in film it. So, I feel like that should have honestly been done in private. Bachelor and is reality TV, but like that's rough. Um, and then tonight, or yeah, last night, they like made her the Bachelorette. And honestly, I'm not excited about that. I'm like not excited to watch her. I don't know. It's they're just boring. Like her and Lauren B and everyone on that show this season was just so boring. Like no one stood out to me. I didn't really like anyone. I wasn't rooting for anyone. Like when I watched the finale, it was like it. I was just kind of like, meh, like I didn't like either of you anyway, so I don't, I didn't like, I wasn't rooting for someone, so it wasn't like shocking to me, it was just kind of like, that sucks, sorry. So, I'm really not excited for The Bachelor, I hope she just like, be, I don't know, becomes more interesting to me, but, you know, it's fine, maybe there'll be some good guys to make The Bachelor, like I was excited about Ari, but... Let me down. Let me down. So, that's all I really have to say about that. Oh, also I thought it was just so annoying. The other girls, like Becca M and... Uh, what's her name? Tia and Kendall. And then they were like... When... I think it was when Ari was talking to Becca on the couch. Like, Kendall was like sobbing into Becca M's like chest in the audience that was just really weird to me they were all like crying that was just really freaking weird like I that just looked fake like they're just trying too hard to be like oh my god we're so upset it's our friend like calm down it's not about you like let's not make this about you that was really strange to me and they, it was just like all of them sitting on each other on the couch like oh my god we're so happy she's the bachelorette it was just too much it just felt like too much like it was just a lot to handle me and Allie were just like oh god like what is going on here it was strange I wasn't into it what's this guy doing um but that's really all I have to say about that I'm trying to think what else going to oh God, like things are moving around in the back seat i'm going to air one right now air one air one i don't know to get that like vegan raw fettuccine thing that i had like a few months ago i just like really want it and it just sounds really good right now and i don't want to eat actual fettuccine right now so i'm gonna eat a raw vegan version huh and then i need to do some grocery shopping my sister's coming into town tonight so I want to get it done before that because I'm going to have a busy week and I need food. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and meal prep some stuff. Oh yeah, Ralph's and Whole Foods to get groceries and meal prep. Then I have class from 3 to 7. <laughs> That's fun. I'm going to probably find out what I got on my midterm for operations, man operations management, which I'm a little afraid to find out. But... I think I did fine. We'll see. Anyway, I vlogged a little in Miami. Um, I was with my friend and I didn't want to like shove a camera in her face. But I tried to vlog and we did some, honestly we just like chilled a lot of the time so didn't really do anything crazy. Um, but yeah, and I released my merchandise. So you guys have been giving me some good feedback on that. I'm really happy. So if you buy anything, let me know. Cause 
I'm excited and I'm working on some summer stuff. And I just shipped a bunch of Poshmark stuff, so. And also you guys have been giving me good feedback on the Poshmark video, which I'm happy about. I'm very passionate about um, kind of doing things on your own. Yes, lady, geez, move your butt. And this guy is gonna steal this parking spot, but I don't care, because I don't want it. <laughs> It's a little bit insane right now. Okay, this is just dark here. So, yeah, I'm gonna go in and get this, and I will talk to you guys later. I'll probably show you what I get from the store. So, I just left Whole Foods. Um, also, I got this. Oh, shoot, where did I put the wrapper? Just another way for this. It is called, it is called this. And it just looks like this. But it's really freaking good. They didn't have the Alfredo, so I just got this thing. It's bomb. I only could eat like, not even half of it and I got full. So I'm gonna save this for tomorrow. But that was really good. I wish I could like make this on my own. Every time I try and make help noodles, they're just too like crunchy and I just can't handle it. But. Anyway, from Whole Foods, I got this um, Primal Kitchen Caesar avocado with avocado oil. It's dairy-free, sugar-free, soy and canola-free, gluten and grain-free, but my mom gets this and it's really good and I kind of just have been craving like some Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad. Favorite almond milk right now, I just, I should make my own, but I'm lazy. Um, Sometimes I get lazy. 3.24. Oh, so these will last like a month. I got these almond flour grain-free tortillas from Siete. I eat the chips and they're really, really good. So I wanted to try these tortillas if they're any good. Um, this is my favorite vegan cheese. It's the Follow Your Heart Smoked Gouda. It's so good and I love it on sandwiches. And then I have been having a hard time finding like canned jackfruit. Um, I in Bali I went to this vegan restaurant. I had these jackfruit um, nachos, and it's like it tastes like pulled pork. And the seasoning they put on it is like whatever seasoning you put on it, that's what it's gonna taste like. But it was so good, and I've been trying to find some with like just in a can so I can like make it myself. But um, they have this, so I'm gonna try it. It's a te Tex-Mex jackfruit, soy free, gluten free vegan mm -hmm. anyway so I was gonna make just some like nachos or nachos what am I talking about tacos or burrito I don't know these are like these are like an awkward size tortilla it's like bigger than a taco tortilla shell and smaller than a burrito it's like right in the middle it's kind of awkward now I'm gonna go to Ralph's and get everything else Whole Foods is just so expensive, and I don't got the money to spend. Ooh, hello. Couldn't let me go out, thanks. I don't have the money to do all my grocery shopping at Whole Foods. So. Here we go. All right, I'll show you guys what I get at Ralph's. Hopefully you're interested. If you're not, <laughs> that sucks. Hello, I just got back from Ralph's and this was sitting on my counter, but this stuff is so good from Trader Joe's. It's the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning, but I thought I would just show you guys real quick what I got. If you're interested, if you're not, skip ahead. I'm going to try to eat more fiber, so I got this Kashi 13 grams of fiber cereal. Got a bunch of lemons. Filling things. I got three avocados. I got artichoke hearts. Organic bananas. I got two things of liqueur. I got one of the peach pear flavor, which I really like, and the lemon. Wow, he only put three things in that bag. Kind of a waste of a bag. Um. You guys I've got lettuce. I 
got this um, Sesame Asian um, salad mix because, I don't know, sometimes I just don't want to take the time and chop up everything if I'm in a hurry. Peppers were on sale, so I got three red peppers and two orange ones. They're normally really expensive. I got some broccoli heads. Brussels sprouts. I got ground, ground turkey meat. What else? I got a bunch of kale. Get it? One bunch. A bunch. <laughs> got a cucumber. I got some organic tomatoes. I got some eggs, pasture raised on a family farm. Um, it's my favorite, favorite kombucha, Health Aid, Pink Lady Apple. I always grab one. Berries were on a really good sale, so I got two things of. Oh my god, I just saved this bag. Man, that was quick. I got two things of strawberries. Something's beeping. I got six things of chicken breast. I got white onion. And then, is that it? So I am good for probably the next two weeks, about. And yeah, so now I'm gonna meal prep, probably gonna meal prep that turkey and probably grill a couple turkey or chicken breasts for um, to throw in salads. So it can be cold tomorrow. Yum. And yeah, so. That's my plan. Um, it's probably gonna end this vlog. Uh, I sorry I didn't vlog much in Miami, but I didn't really do anything crazy to vlog anyway, except what I showed you guys. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, also go check out my merch. I'm super excited about it. So I will leave the link in the description. And I'll be getting in some more stuff to take photos with, so you guys can kind of see what it looks like and on a person in real life, so. All right, thank you guys for watching, bye.